Hello everyone, Pani Coffee here. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that hasn't been, that I feel hasn't been discussed, at least not enough. It's about single edge blade nippers. Basically how to use them and how to care for them so that your pair lasts you a very long time. I'll go into details, but first, coffee. Computer, Computer. Coffee, coffee for, for two. two. So, single edge nippers. What's the deal, right? So the first thing you'll obviously notice is that one side of the blade has a more blunt edge. I mean, it's still sharp, but it's not a cutting edge. While the other, the opposite side of the blade is the cutting edge. This one's as sharp as a hobby knife. So you also might ask yourself why why use single edge blades? Why not simply use a nipper that has two cutting edges, right? So the way single edge nippers have been designed is the blunt edge is supposed to hold the opposite side of the, the gate or the nub, while the cutting edge shaves through that said part. And so the whole benefit of the single edge nippers is to save you that one step of using your hobby knife. So now that you know the concept of single edge blade nippers, I'm giving you five rules to follow, or at least a guideline for proper care of your nippers. I mean, these nippers are, aren't cheap. Here's number one, steer clear of clear parts or harder plastic. It's definitely important to follow the, the instructions in the packaging. If you're unable to read it, you can always Google Translate. So just hover your phone and use Google Translate. That will translate most of the instruction. You'll get the gist of it. But basically for these kind of nippers, the maximum diameter that they allow for you to cut safely is three millimeters. Also, as specified, only soft plastic. For example, the GW, the Games Workshop, or the Warhammer, uh, sorry, War Machine and uh, Hordes miniatures game. If you have those with you, don't use your god hands there because they seem soft, but they're harder. If you compare them to Bandai kits, Bandai kits are really soft. Number two, to have some spare nippers, for different materials, such as clear plastic, because we know we can't cut clear plastic with the single edge. It, it's too hard for it. Uh, for me, I use these uh, Games Workshop um, nippers. 
It's pretty good with hard materials and clear plastic. This will already extend the life of your main, main uh, nippers. So we're on to number three. Do not drop. I mean, this sounds funny, right? Like, why would you drop it? I, I didn't mean to drop it in, in a literal sense. Oftentimes, when a pair of nippers goes to the floor, it's because of an accident, right? You, you were trying to reach out for another part or for your paint pots. And there you have it, your shoulder or your, your elbow just nudged it off the table. Since the blades are heavier, it's gonna point downwards, so like a nosedive. And also more often than not, when it lands on the floor, you get a shattered blade. So I'll give you some tips on how to prevent it from happening, or at least to mitigate it if it happens. So the first thing is placement. Never put your uh, never put your nippers at the edge of your table. You know, always put it right in front of you or in the middle so that even if you move it around, you nudge it, it, it won't fall off. So the second option is to use a nipper cap or any similar cap, just something to protect the blades in the event that it falls to the ground. So just use whatever you have. Anything to protect the blade. So we're on to number four. Only apply the necessary pressure. So this is something I also notice from a lot of hobbyists. When they start clipping off the the gates, it's like they dig through them like they're punching like eight sheets of paper. You know, it's really hard force. And this is something you don't want to do with, especially with single edge nippers like these. Doing so will dull the blade or, in worst case, shatter it. And here's a demonstration so you can see how little pressure you need to apply. I mean, my, my hand's barely squeezing it. It's like, it's like a hot knife through butter. That's really the sensation. So you shouldn't apply too much pressure in cutting a gate. So number five. So keep it clean. Any debris caught in between the blades should be cleaned right off, right away. For me, I use a brush like this. So I clean that off periodically as I work. So it doesn't hamper the, the cutting ability. So here's a bit of a tricky subject and I've been asked about this many times. If they can uh, actually sharpen the blades themselves. So my immediate answer is no, unless you have the necessary skill and the, the tools to do it. Because what oftentimes what happens is that people end up with shattered blades because they went too fast or worse, they misalign the blade because it's, it's been shaved too much and now the blades are misaligned. So when you cut now, it's not accurate. So I, I don't recommend it and honestly it's just more economical to, to just buy a new pair. So there you have it. I hope this video has helped you in understanding the, the proper use and care of single edge blade nippers as well as its pros and cons. Perhaps you're someone who's been holding back for a long time now because maybe because you think it was overhyped or you simply didn't understand the way it works. Well, I'm glad to inform you that if you ever decide to get one now, you have a lot more choices. I'm not sponsored, but hey, God hand, if you're listening, call me or email me. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. See ya.